And uh, man, that place is infested with crocodiles. Oh boy. Like, and it really seriously infested with crocodiles, more so than the other places that we've put in. You know, we would see just one area where there were a lot of crocodiles, but then they're, they're not before that area, they're not after that area, it's probably a little deeper there, or whatever happens in a nice little mud bank for them to lay on. But this one, man, they were scattered out all the way up that canal. So I get a little ahead and I see I see the biggest crocodile that I think I might have ever seen in my life. <laughs> I saw and, you turn a little uh, white there. <laughs> yeah, I'm up there kind of by myself looking at that crocodile and kind of thinking, hmm, maybe I'll wait for Rich here. And uh, well, that big one you saw, I mean, when, when we got around the corner, you'd said he was a big one and, and I was like, hmm. But when I finally could, could see around the mangroves, I mean, the first thing I saw was his tail and it was wrapped like an anaconda. It was. It was. It was not just long and bent. It was s twisted. He was yeah. as the tail was that long, yeah. and then his head. I mean, I just saw his teeth and his whole mouth. I mean, that was a big creature. Yeah. I don't know how big, but a lot bigger than I wanted. A lot bigger than our boards. Right, big. So it's probably best just to kind of ease on by that guy and keep on going. And you know, we had some some quick success in the in the channel, but we got this paddle board. We're trying to get in the shallowest water we can get, so it's time to explore and. You know, so we, we poke around all through that area, going back in there and, and, and seeing different places and new places, and the fish were there, man. They were so in there, but... Just not enough visibility just, to see them. I mean, man, if we had just had, like, another, you know, 10 seconds, you see the fish, and there's 10 seconds to be able to throw a cast to them, we could have done some good up there. But. And, and we, you know, that's cool because, you know, much like what we found in another trip up there is when it's too windy and too blown out in the open areas, just go back to the canal. That's where the fish were. And, um, and the tarpon just got happier and happier. Um, we ended up catching a couple more small snook in there, which was fun. But then when we switched to that bucktail jig and, and it got towards the end of the day, the tarpon were just rolling and they were happy. And then, you know, every time we get in position up there and get a good cast, we had one. There he is. Yeah, got him. <laughs> Switch to that bucktail, Tom, second cast. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. He's got to have the right bait.